Hey guys, Katie here. I am going to make this quick today, but first of all, are you living the life that you really thought you'd be living right now? Can you honestly take a look at yourself and say, you know what, this is, Katie, this is exactly the life that I have envisioned. Well, I tell you what, back in 2009 when I lost my job, I experienced for the first time unemployment. And I have to admit, I was kind of excited that I was going to take some time off. And I, and I was at a place in my, my life where I was really reaching a nervous breakdown. I was exhausted. I was working like 100 hours a week. I used to run health clubs. I was a personal trainer for many years. And, you know, I was always in sales and I was always, you know, moving and shaking and going and, you know, 100 million different directions. And I never really thought I would reach that point in my life where I would actually be able to just chill out. You know, don't don't you just desire something like that, like just peace or harmony or just getting up and taking a vacation and, and going on a yacht and or just somewhere where you don't have to worry about money, where you don't have to worry about people, where you don't have to worry about your family, where you don't have to worry about these things that stress you out. You don't have to worry about your future. You just you can just take a moment of peace and, and just Sit in your dreams. What are your dreams? Where are you at right now in your life? If you were to close your eyes right now with me, where are you at? Are you in that place of um, peace? Are you in that place where you're financially free? Are you in that place where uh, uh, your health is perfect? Where are you at? Do you want to be in that place? You know, when I ran gyms for many years, like I just said earlier, I did reach a point in my life where I wanted to create more freedom for myself. And I will tell you, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't. Because over the last four years, I have, um, I have succeeded and I have failed at uh, various different ways of um, starting my own business, making money online, doing different, you know, kinds of things. And one thing that I found with myself is I, w I, I reached a point where it was like, okay, I was consistent all the way up until a certain point in my life. And then it was like when I got, um, f well, I was technically laid off, fired, whatever. Um, cause I was running a gym. I wasn't personal training full time at the time. I was just uh, operations manager. So, I was like, I, I finally wanted to reach that point I, or, or I take that time with myself just to decide what it is I wanted while I was bringing him a small income, right? And, and that was okay, you know, even though I, you know, my income went down, I said, you know, it's okay because to me it wasn't about the money. It was about being able to take the time off and having the freedom. Well, you know, when I reached, you know, when I made that decision, I should say I made a decision to go in business for myself and I actually succeeded right away. And, um, but then a lot of things that I didn't understand about being business for myself, which was, um, selling techniques, which was, uh, it was, uh, you know, a combination of a lot of things, even though that's what I did for a really long time, it was just different when I was out on my own. And the thing is, it really wasn't different. It was just really my confidence and what it looked like being an entrepreneur all by myself. So there's really four techniques that I have found that really help um, anybody sell anything to anyone. So basically, you, you want to give the market what they want so you get what you want. Uh, but in that process, you know, um, people, you, well, the first process that you have to reach is you have to develop common ground. So when you develop that common ground, you build that bridge. The next thing it leads to is affirming. So it's pretty much you're just like honoring, you know, them exactly where they're at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you're confident in that. And then the third thing is um, you're finding the permission to actually lead into the message of whatever it is that you want to give them. Maybe it be to sell a product. Maybe it be to sell information, whatever the case may be. Um, but the first thing that's so important is to develop common ground with people. It really is. That's the first thing. The second thing is just really affirming and posturing that and honoring them in the process, asking permission, right? We all want to be asked permission. Nobody wants anything uh, slam, you know, crammed down their throat. Everybody wants to be honored. And I know that I'm guilty of that. And that's one of the things that I had to learn. And then the fourth thing is, you know, 
giving, delivering the information in a way that suits them for uh, whatever decision that you want them to make, which is obviously you want them to say yes to whatever it is that you have, whether it be a service, whether it be a product, whether it be information, whatever the case may be. So those are really four things that I have found that I've had to really mature in. And when I was listening to a call today, it really reminded me of when I first got into business for myself. Those were four things that were really important for me to, uh, I guess, refine as I grew into business. So, and that's what I'm doing right now. Actually, if you click that link below, uh, you're going to, you're going to actually be introduced to, uh, something that could radically change your life. I know six months ago, six, seven months ago, I was at a breaking point again, uh, because I had walked away from businesses that I had and I was just really flustered and frustrated. I was tired of, um, you know, chasing, you know, my friends and family around. I was tired of, um, you know, running a home business that was just like wearing me out. I needed something that was going to suit me being a mom, really staying from home. And really what it's done is create freedom for me uh, just in a just in a short six months. So if that's you, friend, I want you to stop what you're doing. And if you're not in the place where you want to be uh, with the dreams inside of your life, I want you to click that link. I want you to fill out that form and I'll see you on the inside. All right. Be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.